What's up, YouTube? Capture it's your boy, Judelation, back once again. I got some domination gameplay on Fire Range, but today I just really wanted to talk to you about the great news. Okay, it's just been confirmed that the FAMAS is getting nerfed. Okay, David Vonderhaar, Treyarch's design director, just tweeted that the FAMAS is indeed getting nerfed. Okay, so what's he gonna do with the FAMAS? He's going to, um, reduce the ADS time uh, so that it's going to take a lot more time to aim down the sight. He's going to reduce the hip firing accuracy on the gun and he's going to add more recoil so it's going to take more careful bursts to kill at long range. Okay, finally they have listened to the community that's been pleading for the FAMAS to get nerfed. Okay, I hear a lot of people saying that no, the FAMAS is their favorite gun in the game and they love the FAMAS, yada yada yada, these guys are just a bunch of FAMAS hoes, okay, the FAMAS was just too overpowered, because the only way you could lose in a gunfight with the FAMAS was if you were shot in the back, or maybe if you were going against Grizz, alright, and he had attack dogs all over, and a helicopter in the air, okay, and he just took down three MLG pros, then he had to no scope kill you from a um, 200 feet distance. Maybe he'd lose the gunfight. But that's the only way you could ever lose with the FAMAS. Okay? And if a team, if you were going against someone with the FAMAS and you did not have the FAMAS, unless that person was blind or high on drugs, you were going to lose that fight. There's just no way. Okay? Okay, the statistics on the gun were just amazing. I mean, to give you an example, the, you know how quick the aim down the sight and the reload of the FAMAS was? It was faster than most of the SMGs in the game. I mean, how is the SMG supposed to compete? They couldn't. And now, finally, they've realized their huge mistake and they're doing the right thing by passing this gun. But, you know, a lot of people say that the AUG is pretty similar to the FAMAS and that's going to be the next gun that people use. I disagree. I mean, the AUG is a great gun. It has a quick reload as well. It has a really fast 938 RPM fire rate. But the, the difference between the FAMAS and the AUG is the recentering speed. Okay, the AUG has a very high upwards recoil. So if you're trying to kill people at long range, it takes a lot more bullets. It takes a lot more bursting. It takes a lot more skill, which is um, why I believe that the best gun in the game after this pass will hopefully be the Stoner 63. You see right there, I just destroyed that guy. He had no chance. It only takes three bullets to kill at any range with this uh, light machine gun. And, and you see right here, I, I go into work on these noobs. I mean, a lot of these guys were using the FAMAS. still didn't matter. They got raped. Because the Stoner 63, it plays odd. Oh, this guy gets lucky and he fucking. And that's the only way he was ever gonna take me down. <laughs> and my buddies get him back anyway, so. But, you know, let me just talk about the similarities between the FAMAS and the Stoner 63. So you guys can understand why the Stoner is so much uh, uh, of a better gun now that the FAMAS has been uh, nerfed. Okay? So, as you know, you. You unlock the FAMAS a lot earlier, you get the FAMAS at level 14, which is pretty early compared to the Stone 63's level, you have to be, it's a unlock, it's unlockable after you get the M60 at level 21, so, basically at level 21 is the earliest you can get it, and so, you know, the FAMAS definitely has an advantage if you're trying to prestige, but other than that, you know, the Stoner 63 has uh, a three bullet kill at any range. It has the same fire rate. The aim down the sight is slower. That's true. In the uh, in the um, you also get less bullets with the Stoner 63. But the hip fire on this gun is absolutely um, fantastic. And the recoil is very minimal. So now that the FAMAS has been patched, you. Oh look, this guy's in last stand, great. But now that the FAMAS has been passed, I mean, you can actually use the Stoner 63 with success now, because um, 
I wouldn't rush with the stoner because it really is a, a, a slow gun when you're running and whatnot and when you have to end on a sight. But if you lose sleight of hand, you can get away with it. Um, and another thing about the Stoner 63 is that it is very good at taking people down from long range. Any gun that can hold its own in close to medium range and dominate at long range is going to be a very effective gun to use. Okay, And the Stoner 63, definitely its strong point is at long range taking people down. If you get in a fight with any other gun in this game other than a sniper, you're gonna win that fight as long as you're accurate. You know, and that's what makes the Stone 63 such a great gun. It doesn't matter if it's behind a wall or building because the penetration power on this gun is second to none. I mean, it's not as good as the other um, light machine guns because, you know, this gun really plays like, a, uh, like an assault rifle. So they, they, they even weakened the penetration power on this gun. But still, it's more than enough to get anyone that's hiding behind trying, um, corners and behind uh, surfaces. Like that wooden surface right there. If someone was hiding behind there, I wouldn't even have to be after it. I could just shoot right through it. Because the penetration power of the light machine guns just, you know, it eats through anything in this game. You know, there, in, there really isn't a lot of places where you can hide in this game when it comes to um, light machine guns. You, you're going to get eaten alive. Maybe sandbags are the only exception. And in this game, you know, I, I, I get a pretty good score. I get the last kill. I just basically run these guys out, out of town, basically. And if you, if you stay a little bit back, you can rush, but don't rush to be real close to the enemies. Rush to where the enemies are, uh, the spot where the enemies are coming to, and you meet them in the center right there, then you'll be able to take them out down. So I, I wouldn't rush like I had an SMG in, in this game. I'd rush to points where I know that they were going and basically take them out. You don't want to get in close range. I mean, even though the, the Stoner 63 can dominate in close range against most guns because of its high fire rate, you still want to, you know, minimize your uh, exposure to getting uh, taken down, you know, so, you know, I know that the, um, there might be some people that say that Galil's a better gun and whatnot, but, you know, the Stoner 63 has the same um, firing pattern as the Galil, so, I mean, guys, if you, if you don't want to um, use a silencer on your gun, then definitely try the Stone 63. It is better than the uh, the Galil unsilenced. I mean, this is some old gameplay that I had on my page, but I didn't add any commentary to it. But I think it's a perfect uh, perfect opportunity to add commentary because. Uh, um, the FAMAS is getting nerfed, and I believe this is the gun that's going to replace the FAMAS. You're going to see a lot more people use it. And here I get the last kill, but, you know, this is pre-patched, so you give me assist instead. Alright, rate, comment, subscribe, YouTube. Peace out.